Okay, part two. Loading and operating of the rifle. Like I showed you before, the ground's just going to lay in there. Push down. Okay. Lines up with a little groove here in the trigger guard. Magazine release since I trigger guard. Show you that in a second. Just lining up in there. Push it home. Do a little tug. Hold your bolt. Pull it back. Hold your bolt. And it's ready to fire. When you're empty, a lever right there. Push that. And your magazine drops on out. Yeah, it's a little tough on here. I need to get up in there and clean all the cosmos to lean out of there. But it's interesting concept. Um, the reason I bought this rifle, bought it for I think 50 bucks, not real sure. Um, first of all, it's just, you know, it's a Lee Enfield rifle, and I've always wanted one in my collection. Um, another thing is the stock. I like straight grip stocks. Okay, the wood on here is not great. It's got a lot of dents and scratches and stuff. But I like the full stock. The wood goes all the way up here, all the way. You know, the entire barrel is covered. I just like that. Um, if I ever had the money, I would definitely have this in. Definitely cleaned up professionally. The stock refinished, sweat out all these holes and stuff they can. Um, refinish all the metal, just make it a beautiful looking rifle. Um, my rifle, for some reason, does not have rounds. So I'll probably take that bolt apart and clean it better. Um, that's the reason I got this is this three down here. So I don't know if that's a weapon number or what. But that looks pretty neat on there. Um, I really don't know how to disassemble this rifle other than the bolt. So I'm not going to give you that information. Does have the bayonet lug on the front. Um, it's just a nice looking rifle. I love the snouts on these things. Um, it's pretty decent kicker that steel butt plate, but it's a great rifle, and if you can find one, pick one up. So there it is, Lee Enfield, finally. <laughs>